There is something that is happening in our time and like ever before. And the explosive nature of it is about to be felt. I'm telling you that. There's not a single word you have heard here that concerns you, that pertains to your life, that is not about to explode in your life for the world to see. Glory to God. There is not any man, prophet, psychic, whatever you may call them, that has stood in front of masses and has been that detailed and that specific about things year in, year out, and you have seen them before you. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, the prophet with an unmatched record of prophetic fulfillment. These prophecies are indications that you are indeed in the presence of the testimony of Jesus, who is or which is the spirit of prophecy. symbol of prosperity, the latter being the very reason that a prophet was sent in this day and age. Prophet Elvis Mbonye is a prophet of an uncontestable supreme authority sent for the prosperity of those chosen of the living God, confirmed by countless signs and prophetic fulfillments that have shown that his word of preservation and prosperity will never return void. This is the very reason that he picked up on what could have been a major robbery. Twentieth August, two thousand nineteen. There is a. I'm trying to change something that I'm seeing in the spirit. Eh? There is a. There's a bank that is being planned to be stolen and robbed. Eh? In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, may the angels of God sabotage that move now. In the name of Jesus, and may this be a sign that the hand of God is upon his people. In the name of Jesus, I command every pestilence everything that has come to steal, kill, and destroy, to rob financially in this atmosphere, it is gone, it disappears in the name of Jesus. One week later, true to the prophetic word, Staff members of the Bank of Uganda Currency Center in Mbale were arrested for attempting to steal huge sums of money. The theft was foiled, leading to the arrests that were as a result of the prayer of preservation during the prophecy by Prophet Elvis Mbonye. This prophet sent to us, Prophet Elvis Mbonye, is at the forefront of the revolution of all life as we know it. His authority proven by a prophetic operation that has consistently revealed and altered events as a sign that his anointing of wealth and dominion is the very key to the ascension of the children of God in this final day. And we who recognize this supreme authority give the highest regard and distinction of double honor to God's vessel of prosperity and establishment in our generation, Prophet Elvis Mbonye. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow about this time, you surely 
will be in a better place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The harvest is truly great. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your life is the good life. It is the good life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You may be seated. <laughs> you see? Glory to God. Hallelujah. You see? The days that you happen to find yourself in are very peculiar days, very special days. These are the days that heaven has chosen. These are the days, I'm telling you, that heaven has chosen to display the greatest, the best, I might add the bestest, you know. He has saved this day. The best of heaven has been reserved for such a time as this. For such a person as you, glory to God. Let me tell you this. This time, if you got the privilege of sitting with the council, with a cloud of witnesses, you would see that this was the day that they all, that they all were waiting to see. Glory to God. They wanted to be a part of it. You are a part of it. And let me tell you, you're going to see the glory of God as never before. Glory to God. The glory of God is going to be seen as never before. I know what I am talking about. Now you see, when Jesus was talking about the times of the end. In Matthew 24, the disciples first asked him about uh, the beautiful temple that was uh, in their vicinity. And when they showed it to him, he gave a prophetic word instantly. And that prophetic word was beyond edification exhortation and comfort. Because you see, there are some people who have tried to, to spin the word of God to make it look like prophecy is just limited to edification, exhortation, and comfort. But when Jesus prophesied, in this instant and in some other instances, he actually foretold. When they were showing him the temple, he foretold about that temple. And then he said, the days would come when that temple is destroyed. When they shall try to sit and it's all destroyed. Now, if I had given that prophecy, and, uh, you know, the next year came and another M and the decade passed, they would say, false prophecy. Because it was after decades when Jesus had already gone that that prophecy actually came to pass. <laughs> when the emperor Nero by then went and conquered Jerusalem and destroyed that temple. But then, you know, interestingly, then the disciples start asking him about the signs, the signs of the last days. The signs of the last days. You can imagine that. Immediately after a prophecy, they are stirred up to ask about the signs of the last times. And then Jesus, of course, begins laying out what would be the signs of the last days. And then he speaks of deception, he speaks of wars and rumors of wars and all that. But then there's one thing that not so many people have actually captured, which was more important than all the signs outlaid 
by the Lord. And that was the last sign he pointed out. He pointed as his, the last sign concerning his coming about the last days. He said this. He said, you want to know the last sign of the Lord's coming? He said, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all the nations. And then shall the end come. The last sign. Not wars, rumors of wars. And say, the last. He says, this is what you should look at. This gospel. He didn't say the gospel. <laughs> he said, this gospel. He was particularly pointing to a particular type of gospel. He said, this gospel of the kingdom. You see, <laughs> okay, there is such a thing as the gospel of the kingdom and there is such a thing as the gospel of salvation. Among other scriptures, if you read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, Ephesians 1, 13, it says, in whom you also trusted, after that you had the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That is the gospel of salvation. Eh? In whom also, after that you believed, you were sealed. You got born again. You became a child of God. But then he says something in Matthew 24, verse 14. This is not what he is talking about. This is not what he's talking about. He's talking about the gospel. He says, this gospel of the kingdom. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. He is talking about dominion. He is saying, you see, you see, he says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto the people. Salve the gospel of salvation is to the people. One by one, they get saved. They hear and they get saved. This is talking about for a witness unto the nations. A harvest of nations. <laughs> you guys, eh? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that there's something that is happening in our time and like ever before. And let me tell you, if the grace of God doesn't affect you to see it, you can be found fighting it. It will look weird and peculiar because the pattern of church will seem to you like somehow it has been lost somewhere. I'm telling you this. He says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. All the world. For a witness unto all the nations. That the nations will be able to see the evidence of a holy nation. <laughs> you see, you are that witness. Can you imagine? And it is starting from here. Can you imagine that? Uh, can you imagine while the nations are going broke, there is a holy nation that is rising up. And it is the witness. Glory to God. Now you see, eh? this is why this country is so small for us. Okay, I think, let me talk well. Eh? <laughs> it is too small. It says, for a witness unto all nations, all nations, 
they will see you. They will see you and know the goodness of the kingdom you come from. Glory to God. For a witness, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that while the nations of the world are actually, right now as I speak, while they are actually giving in to an antichrist agenda, it has already, it's already on our, not on our doorpost, it has already entered some houses and white houses. It has entered. So while nations are busy giving in to agendas because they think that uh, therein lies their security financially, therein lies their preservation, therein lies all these things. He is saying, while that is happening, he is rising you. He is rising you with an anointing to show them that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The forces of this world, no matter how great they have projected themselves to be, are nothing compared to the power that is resident here. I can assure you that. Now, I can assure you that no president, whether in the West, whether in the East, can try to come against us here and not grumble. I'm telling you that. So, you see, this is exactly what we are talking about. That uh, while there is a system that is spreading across, and the other day when I was prophesying about it, I prophesied and uh, I realized not so many knew what I was actually prophesying. There are things that look political, but they are spiritual and spiritually dark. There are things that look political and they have a, the political form of gathering but they are dark and by the spirit of God they shall be broken up they shall dissipate now I am telling you because you see <laughs> the reason that's why we make people uncomfortable they had never 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 faced the prophetic <laughs> so they expect, they expect that uh, come open scriptures, teach, teach, and catch your Bible. And, that's what they expect. Now I'm telling you, the people in the days of Elijah saw him. The people in the days of Elisha saw him. The people in this day, <laughs> I'm telling you that. Now, now, some things I even don't want to speak because I know I, I like I would like things to speak for me. And you will see. But anyway, the thing is, the thing is, while that is taking place across, there are a number of leaders who are in bondage because they think that uh, all the power there is belongs to the Antichrist system that is coming to pay them off and channel and tune their nations to the agendas of darkness. But while that is happening, this is happening as well. And the, the explosive nature of it is about to be felt. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that that no word of God is void of power. There is not a single word you have heard here that concerns you, that pertains to your life, that is not about to explode in your life for the world to see. Glory to God. So, he says, he says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached. And not just preached, he says, for a witness. In other words, they will see it. They will see it. Glory to God. For a witness unto all nations. A witness unto all nations. They'll be able to track and say something peculiar is happening. Something weird is happening here. And they will see. And it will spread unto all nations. 
And that is how you will start to see a whole harvest of nations. Now, that is why, that is why, because of what is at stake, we shall not tolerate spiritually anything or anyone, no matter who they are, that tries to stand in the, rev in the way of the revelation of God, I can assure you, <laughs> let me, <laughs> you see, what is at stake is great. The time is so cru crucial. The time is so, so, so crucial that you need, you need to, to see it in order to, to, to know the urgency of it and to know what is actually taking place. Because you see, the kingdom of darkness is trying to gather. And the kingdom of God is gathering as well for the final harvest. You see it? And that is why, you see, it has to start here. Before it spreads to Kenya, Tanzania, it, is, it, it, it has to start here for our witness. <laughs> for our witness. The ones who remain after will have no excuse. They will have seen it. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. For a witness. <laughs> he says, when this happens, when nations, when nations begin to see the gospel of the kingdom, because you see, again, salvation got you born again, got you into his image. You see, this is the same gospel that the Lord preached to Adam in Genesis 1 when he told him, have dominion. It was this that, is, that was saying. And the reason as to why he did not need the gospel of salvation, it is because... He was not a fallen man. The reason as to why the gospel of salvation is needed now for fallen men to be recreated in Christ. You see it? But now, the gospel of the kingdom harvests entire nations. They see the kingdom. They see the kingdom at work. They see the laws of that kingdom. And they see that it supersedes everything they have Everything that they have predicted comes wrong. You see, every, every law, everything, they see that it's, it's in direct contradiction. And that is why, that is why he has brought you here to be a part of it. You see, because the thing is, the thing is, the reason as to why there, there had to be a separation before is because you will find People who claim to be as people of the church, of the kingdom, still operating under the systems and governments of this world. Still in reference, still in awe of the systems and governments of this world. They, they regard not the kingdom of God. In fact, they would rather that you heed the voice of secular systems. You have met people like that. Now, th that is exactly why he sanctified you. That's what is the word sanctification means. He sanctified you. He separated you. That he may begin his operation in your life. That he may build you up into this witness. This perfect witness that cannot be denied. Glory to God. He says, you are witness unto all, all nations. Then he says, when all nations see, and then nations begin making decisions based on what they are seeing. Some accept it, some reject it, and then nations begin being separated into dark and light, darkness and light. Because you see, right now we have individuals who are in spiritual darkness and others who are in spiritual light. A time is coming when the light that covers over a nation the light that governs over a nation is the light from heaven. And it will be seen and known. 
And let me tell you, make no mistake, there is no way, the, what I'm talking about is not something that, that, you know, where someone comes and casually quotes, oh, I'm a Christian and reads Bible scriptures. That's what I'm talking about. You can read Bible scriptures and yet you subscribe to that fallen ancient demonic system. So do not be deceived by a leader apparently reading scriptures. Eh? That's, that's not how it is. When push comes to shove, we will see whether you subscribe to the revelation of God or a secular dead system. It, it is as practical as that. This, this day, you know, don't be deceived by people who come, oh, I'm Christian. No, 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 no. It is different now. <laughs> it is different. Glory to God. So, we are in process of harvesting. Of harvesting the nations of this world. I said we're in process of harvesting the nations of this world. Luke chapter 4 from verse 5. It says, And the devil taking him, taking Jesus, up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. So who took Jesus up? It was the devil, eh? <laughs> Can you imagine the devil taking Jesus? And the devil giving Jesus a vision? It, it says that, uh, it says the devil took him up into a high mountain. And by the way, that high mountain can never again, I've ever said this, can never, I could have never been a physical mountain because there is not a mountain high enough where you can go and stand and see the kingdoms of this world in an instant. It's not there, not even Everest. Go there and we'll see. You'll freeze to death. Eh? <laughs> so these are places in the realm of the spirit. And it says that, uh, you see, and this is, by the way, on the side, eh? If the devil can take Jesus to show him something, he surely can take some fellow that calls himself, okay, 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 and shows him something. <laughs> but you know, the scripture says, prove all things, and another scripture says, test the spirit. And you see, people, people are so, I don't know, they're so casual about spiritual experiences. Some of these things you need to test. You need to prove all this. You can now listen, purchase, download, and watch supernatural life awakening messages from Prophet Elvis Simbonye on your laptop, tablet, phone, and all other devices at your own convenience, anywhere from your cars to your homes and workplaces by visiting prophetelvis.com slash shop. You surely will be in a better place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Tomorrow about this time. You surely will be in a better place. Glory to God. Prophet Elvis Mbonye, Tuesdays, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds, opposite KCCA Stadium, Lugogo, Kampala, Uganda. This exactly is the reason the Lord brings you before a prophet. If the prophet can pick up on something that has not yet showed up in the physical. And he declares it to you. And you see it. He can tell you that your money is being counted. Glory to God. I hear a sound of an abundance. Glory to God. 
To become an heir of gold, visit our partnership desk every Tuesday, 5.30 p.m. at Zoe Grounds opposite KCCA Stadium or visit our website at www.profitelvis.com slash heirs of gold. It's a lifestyle. Connect with Prophet Elvis Mbonye by going to www.prophetelvis.com slash Facebook, prophetelvis.com slash Twitter, prophetelvis.com slash Instagram, and prophetelvis.com slash YouTube. For this and more information, visit our website at www.prophetelvis.com.